So the coronavirus was not discovered by the World Health Organization or the CDC or even the CIA. It was discovered by a text and data mining company producing and reading copyrighted news articles and other sources as permitted under Canada's broad research exception that permits such uses. Human rights law gives us all the right to receive and impart information to enjoy and access education and culture while protecting the moral and material rights of authors. These values and norms are paramount and we must implement copyright law to promote those ends. Unfortunately, our dated global system does not prioritize these human rights. This is a map of the world based on whether countries currently provide the full scope of rights needed to produce and share research in the digital environment. Only the green countries fully provide those rights. A similar map could be created on the inadequacy of current educational exceptions for sharing materials in the same digital environment. The international treaty context does not require any of the restrictions on digital learning and research that exist, but we don't have time to pass a new treaty requiring their reversal. The Doha Declaration on Trips and Public Health provides an answer for what we can do urgently in this context. The Doha Declaration largely does not amend the international treaty environment. It defines and clarifies and promotes the flexibilities that exist. And it worked. The success in globalizing treatment for AIDS under the Doha Declaration can be expanded to the context of COVID and access to knowledge. And therefore, my proposal is that we should recognize the problem and stress the need for action. We can agree that terms in the international treaty, like Article 10.2's reference to teaching, can include online activities. We can reaffirm that flexibility, indeed a human rights duty to interpret out of date terms like reproduction of face-to-face, photocopy, reprography, apply in the digital environment now to be functional and representative, not confining. We can instruct the SCCR secretariat to draft and study solutions to these problems and we can reaffirm the commitment of developed countries to help. The fine details of these norms can be settled by delegates at the next SCCR, but I call on the next SCCR to take this action, to pledge to move forward on an agenda for a Doha Declaration for access to knowledge during COVID.